about finally switched off her remind to be careful when you open the head track and check out the second baggage her personal virus video thank you for the last three and look forward to okay again on board below sir lnc craft thank you Всем привет! Всем приветанья! Greetings from Minsk in Belarus. So I'm here in the capital of Belarus and recently when I was in Bologna, you might have seen my vlog from there, a current student of my alma mater, uh, SAIS, which is the School of Advanced International Studies at Johns Hopkins University, TJ, big shout out to you, dude. He made a comment that really resonated with me about this country and that is Belarusians are kind of like the Canadians of Russia. I think that actually the Belarusians are close to another nationality, but you're going to have to hang around until the end of the vlog to find out which country and which nationality I'm talking about. Let's get into a little bit of Minsk. Sar experience. So what is Minsk? Minsk is a city of two million people. It's obviously the capital of Belarus. It's right in the center. Just gonna give you a little bit of a 360 swirl here as I'm walking through the center um, so you're gonna see the main boulevard the city's history it was at one stage Polish had a lot of Poles living here had a lot of Russians I actually had a lot of Jews living here before the war it was actually a majority Jewish city but unfortunately like is the tragic history in a lot of the region uh, most the majority of those perished during the Second World War looking around at the architecture you can see this for me has a lot of buildings that will remind people of what they at least saw if you're a visitor saw as um, you know the Soviet Union and communist style buildings a lot of these kind of stylistic uh, kind of blocks and that is very much the kind of architecture you will see here in in Minsk the other thing to talk about I guess is Belarusians Belarusians are super friendly um, definitely polite but there is a very strict enforcement of the law so people tend to be very rule abiding uh, but definitely politer uh, than you're gonna hear other Russian speakers being in my experience when you travel to Russia and to Ukraine. Привет! <laughs> One of the beauties of like traveling around is sometimes you bump into other YouTubers. My name is Johnny. I'm here with my mom. We're just traveling around the summer. We come here to visit family. Tell me a little bit about, because you have uh, family connections here in yeah. Belarus. Uh -huh. um, how does it feel when you come here being from Los Angeles but having a history? What do, what do you think uh, of Belarus and Minsk as a city? <laughs> <laughs> so for me, I've been here, so this is like my third year coming here during the summer. It took a while for me to like finally get here, but now that I'm able to actually come here and visit my family, get to know the culture of Belarus and Europe and the city itself and all the people, it's actually really cool. The architecture, the language, the food, the culture, it's really different but it gives you a different experience and it makes you think about other perspectives all around the world. But most importantly, of course, I come here because like my family's here and spending quality time with the people you love is, is the biggest blessing you can ever have. So, mom, do you have anything to say? If someone wants to come to Belarus, compare it to Russia. I think it will be a more regulated country. There are more rules. And these rules are necessary to follow. And that's why, to be politically correct, you have to follow the rules. All right, guys, yeah. I've got to rush off. Connor, it was very nice yeah, to meet you, brother. Hey, God bless you with everything you're doing. Очень приятно. Вы очень хорошо говорите по-русски. You guys subscribe to Connor. He's a cool guy. He's got a cool gimbal with some cool content. So there I give a little bit of overview of why and how I learned Russian and you can see the connection. It allows me to make with people. People are always curious about how that came about. So that should give you some extra, extra motivation to Learn a little bit. You don't have to be fluent, as I always say. Just learning a little bit of local language uh, makes you a bit more interesting, I always think, as well. Um, people definitely give you a little bit more respect. So, anyways, I'm about to go down into the metro, so things are gonna get very dark. So, as you know, the reason I have the visa and the reason why I'm here is to learn the, some Belarusian. That is one of the two national languages of Belarus. Well, actually, 
it's been remarkably easy to understand. The teacher, I've been taking classes, actually invited by a language school here at City Lingba. As you know, one of my big passions is and has been for the last decade learning languages and how they have helped me travel and have more local experience. And I was just also really interested to see how uh, learning Belarusian and coming here, how it would uh, maybe change the experience a little bit, how people react to that. So my goal with all this is not actually to really uh, speak Belarusian fluently. It doesn't make much sense for me as I don't live here, but uh, definitely to get to a level and actually just see what it's like as a language and yeah, maybe use it a little bit. I'm actually going to take you around and show a little bit of this quarter. Мы зараз на вулиці Кастрічницькій. Це така молодіва вулиця. І тут є мішмат графіт. Вот. So at the beginning of this vlog, I did tell you I was going to reveal which country that's close to my heart uh, is actually really similar in terms of the national character as here in Belarus. Now, obviously Belarus is an independent country from Russia, but it has these very long-standing historical ties, a bit like Ireland has with respect to the United Kingdom. We're also part of the United Kingdom at one stage before we became an independent country. On top of that, our languages, our national languages have a very similar status. The fact that they're official, like Belarusian is here in Belarus and Irish is in Ireland. But in fact, most of the population in daily life speaks Russian here, and just like in Ireland, the way we speak English, even though you can see it written uh, and uh, all over the city, Belarusian, like the way you can when you arrive in Dublin airport, see Irish. On top of that, we both seem to have a pretty big obsession with potatoes. Uh, here, Dranaki is the national dish. Uh, Ireland obviously has a very strong historical connection, quite a tragic one with potatoes and the potato blight that caused a famine in the 19th century. And lastly, we both are very fond of a drink. So Belarusians are actually the highest consumers of alcohol per capita in the world, according to the stats I saw. I think you jostle a little bit for number one. Number two, obviously Irish people are renowned for their love of a pint or of a whiskey from time to time. So here's for our close relationship, Ireland and Belarus. Okay guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe the channel and welcome to Minsk. Sar experience.